Jaclyn Hill threatening to people I know because I talked about her in a video. It's showtime. All right, guys, check it out. This is my little Beetlejuice gig. Oh my God, what do you think about it? Hell yeah. Okay, guys, so let's talk because I feel like we need to talk. Check it out. So, Trisha Paytas is in a uh, drama with Jaclyn the Hill. And, okay, it's a lot going on. I don't know. I guess that Jaclyn Hill is suing Trisha Paytas or Trisha Paytas is getting sued. Or I don't know what's going on. Let me roll you the clip on what on what Trisha Paytas had to say. And uh, here we go. Roll it. Things ever. Also, I don't really like to, you know, involve myself in drama these days. But guess what? I like to talk. I like to gossip about what public figures put out on their public platforms. And guess what? You can't sue someone for talking about you if you're a public figure. You post those photos, boo-boo. You parade your boyfriend around, boo-boo. You set the timeline, boo-boo. Jaclyn Hill threatening to sue people I know because I talked about her in a video. Come for me. Sue me. Bring those expensive, fancy lawyers to me. I'm just going by what I see, girl. No hate. I just hate watch your boyfriend. <laughs> She's a little punk behind the scenes. She'd be talking, talking, talking. Oh, Jeffrey talking to Trisha. Jeffrey doing all this. But she never wants to say it publicly. Just threatening the little guys behind the scenes. Come for me, Jacqueline Hill. Anyways, these pumpkin pies are so good. Mmm. McDonald's really doing it right. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Also, homegirl got mad because I said she had hairy lipsticks. Don't put hair on your lipsticks. You're known for lipsticks. You're known for makeup. Don't put out hairy lipsticks. That's like me. I'm known for being problematic. But I don't cause drama. It's not about her ex-husband, who she is to her ex-husband. But um, she's just a period. She talks to me on the phone to people. I'm gonna come back. <laughs> Don't play all innocent and cute. Let me clarify this has nothing to do with any of her exes, and she should be thankful that they're a lot classier than me. And... Okay, this is about her saying about me, saying my friend Jeffrey called me a mess, a drug addict, all this stuff when I was hanging out with a mutual last year. She couldn't talk about me and say my friends are calling me drug addicts. Like, that's my issue. That's my issue. We're not speaking canceled, but because Jacqueline just hides when she doesn't have a little product out, people kind of forget about her. And I get it. She's forgettable, but bitch, I don't forget. I don't forget. And you keep talking about me, saying Trisha just needs to shut her mouth. I don't do that. And you're a public figure, so I don't have to. Or people say like, oh my god, Trisha has a problem with everyone. She's always getting in drama. No, I just call fake people. Like, I let a lot of shit go. I see, I see, I'm like, oh my god, that's so annoying. Or they're, that's this, that's it. If it doesn't pertain to me, I keep it moving. If it pertains to me and your name comes out of my mouth repeatedly and it's just in lies and threats, I just stand up for myself. Like, don't, nobody really does that. And I stand up for myself and my friends and my family and that's it. Fuck it. I don't think she can control people by being like, oh, they signed an NDA. I've never had anyone in my life sign an NDA. Because what you hiding? I didn't sign an NDA. And you a public figure! People are allowed to talk about you. All right, we're back. Okay, so here's what I'm saying. Jacqueline paid it. I mean, wait a minute. Jack, Jack, Paytas Hill, no. Uh, what's it, what's it, uh, Trisha Paytas. Girl, Trisha Paytas talks a lot, okay? Half the time, I don't understand if it's Trisha Paytas talking or like the blonde bombshell over the top character, Trisha Paytas. So half the time what she says, I'm like, I take it with a grain of salt. I love Trisha Paytas. I think that she's, I love her music. I think she's beautiful. I think she can do no wrong. I think she's the queen. And Jaclyn Hill, I'm also a big fan of Jaclyn Hill too. I think she's beautiful. She can do no wrong. Apparently there's stuff going 
on in the background that Trisha Paytas knows about that we don't know about, right? So a lot of, it's a lot of he said, she said in this drama. With that being said, I can't sit here and like, there are no receipts, right? I, up until this point, Trisha Paytas has just been saying that she hears Jack Hill talking behind her back and saying things and she's not a nice person, I guess. Who knows? Not trying to put words in her mouth, but she, that's how she feels. At the end of the day, Trisha Paytas can say whatever she wants about Jaclyn Hill. It's her opinion. And if Jaclyn Hill, Jaclyn Hill, <laughs> Jaclyn Hill feels some type of way about it, then that maybe that's why she got her lawyers involved. At the end of the day, like Trisha Paytas said, because Jaclyn Hill is a public person, that she's allowed to comment on stuff that she puts out there publicly. Now, up until this moment, I don't think that Trisha Paytas has crossed any lines and has said anything wrong about Jaclyn Hill other than just saying that she has hairy lipsticks, which everyone kind of knows about. But at the same time, that's what kind of made Jaclyn Hill famous for her hairy lipsticks. And she's known for lipsticks. How many people are known for lipsticks? Not many, right? The ones that are like super mega famous. Jaclyn Hill is known for lipsticks. Whether they be hairy, moldy, whatever, she's known for lipsticks and that is an accomplishment within itself. That makes sense? But I think most importantly, what Trisha Pace was trying to say is that look, what you're doing, I'm commenting on it publicly. The photos that you post, I'm commenting on it publicly. Now, we have to play devil's advocate here because y'all gonna come for me in the comments. Oh, there's another dislike right there. But I'm just trying to say is that Trisha Paytas has been seen with Jaclyn Hill's ex-husband in the past. And Trisha Paytas has been in, you know, they've been canoodling and messing around, who knows, with Jaclyn Hill's ex-husband. And Trisha Paytas put it out there and a lot of people are like, oh my God, Jaclyn Hill, Trisha Paytas messing around with your ex. That was kind of shady. I don't know why that happened, but it, everyone, it was a talk of the town when it did happen. Everybody was talking about Trisha Paytas at that moment. Maybe Jaclyn Hill, because of that, feels some type of way. It was like, you want to parade around with my man? And so now she feels like she wants to sue Trisha Paytas. If that's even the case, these are just the rumors going on. It could simply be a cease and desist. Who knows? Jaclyn Hill could be very well suing her ex-husband at this point. I don't know. But what it seems like online is that Jaclyn Hill is super happy. She's remodeled her home. I mean, look, to you, you know you got money when you just, when I say remodel home, I mean like you just buy new furniture. Jaclyn Hill is buying new furniture like every six months to a year. Just brand new couches, brand new everything because she's bored of looking at it. That's how you know you got some coins, right? And if Jaclyn Hill is truly happy as she says she is, then she should just let Trisha Paytas keep talking and let her do what she wants to do, right? It's just like the time like when James Charles went and bought a house and then he's complaining about other stuff online. So it's like, are these people truly as happy as you claim to be online? No. What's going on? But with that being said, I want to see what you guys think about all that drama in the comments down below. But Trisha Paytas has also been saying other stuff about other influencers because Trisha Paytas also came for James Charles. She said, and I'll roll you the clip if I can find it, she was like, James Charles, not a nice person. James Charles not, wow, how do you know that? Well, I've heard. Well, I've heard he's not a nice person. Like, oh my God. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure there are rumors spread about Trisha Paytas and people are like, well, I heard Trisha Paytas this. I heard Trisha Paytas that. Doesn't make it true, but at the same time, she still like talks about it, which then makes it like furthering the, the rumors and the gossip. So Trisha Paytas, I think, is very calculated at keeping her name out there and just being relevant. I don't think something happened, but Trisha Paytas really doesn't make that much YouTube videos anymore. I think that now she is the number one star on OnlyFans. I think she even kind of made a mention that she's more spending her time more on OnlyFans and stuff like that. With that being said, I miss the old Trisha Paytas. This is me, but she would just unbox stuff that she would buy, her luxury hauls. Like I miss all that, but I think Trisha Paytas saw that she's making a lot more coin on other apps that she really doesn't need YouTube anymore, right? And I think she just does it for fun. And that's one thing I like about Trisha Paytas now is because when she does YouTube, she doesn't do it from a place of monetary gain because she doesn't need it because she gets money from other apps. She just does it because she wants to do it at this point. I don't know. That's all I want to say. And I think she's a good British woman. And I don't like seeing Jaclyn Hill and Trisha Paytas at war fighting with each other. I don't like that at all. I wish they could get along. I think that they're very similar. If they sat down and got to know each other, I think there's a lot in common that they can gain from each other. That's just my opinion between all that drama. I do like them a lot and I wish they would just get along. Can you imagine if Trisha Paytas, Jaclyn Hill came out with a palette or something? Or if, no, if freaking Trisha Paytas helped Jaclyn Hill with the music 
music video. Oh my god, I would and you just picture Jack and Hill just dipping it and doing it. Like, oh my Trisha Pay I, I've been saying this. Trisha Pay just needs to come out with her own makeup line and Jaclyn Hill needs to come out with a music video. I, I just would love to see a Jaclyn Hill music video and a Trisha Pay's makeup palette. Why this has not happened, I do not understand. They both have the money to do these things. I just I just something I really, really, really would like to see. But I'm gonna leave all that up to you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about all that drama. And I'll see you guys in the next video. If you don't like the video, send it to your haters. So when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life, they'll never get back. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, I love you so much.